to live back in a bit, meditate, I think I should. No, we ain't friends, got me on. What's going on, guys? It's Bryson Fitz Records here, and I'm here with a little bit of an update video on this whole artificial intelligence situation going on in the music industry. Because, you know, it seems like every day there's some new crazy development, some new shit going on, so I want to cover what's been going on in the last week. So if you didn't check out my last video where I just talked about like the history of AI in general, not even just in music, and kind of develop throughout and how this is being used in music nowadays and how in the future this will probably end up being a problem, make sure you check that out. But this is a little bit of a development video on that subject because a lot of stuff I talked about in that video literally happened like the, the next week. <laughs> like So what I'm referring to here is of course AI music, people creating artificial intelligence music, impersonating famous people, artists that they are not in order for their own gain. You know, I talked about how I feel like the music industry is going to push for this, especially labels, you know, they're going to stop signing certain artists, you know, they're just going to count on AI for all the tools and stuff they need. It's cheaper, it's faster, it's going to end up being more efficient, and labels ain't got to deal with the bullshit from artists. But that's a little bit of a summary from my last video, but going into this, you know, I'm sure you've heard this crazy Drake and the Weeknd song. That's not actually Drake and the Weeknd song, it's 100% AI, this shit went viral everywhere, and I kind of want to go into a little dive about this track. The track was called Heart on My Sleeve, and it was uploaded by a user called Ghost Rider Now. This is a picture of Ghost Rider Now, as you can see here, Ghost Rider, they're a ghost, you know, they're using AI for music, hey, it's clever, whatever. But this went super viral on TikTok. <laughs> You know, it was everywhere, this thing had millions and millions of views, as you can see here from his TikTok, but, you know, his TikToks actually got taken down. The sound got taken down. This song on Spotify racked up hundreds of thousands of plays. It got taken down. He has almost 400,000 monthly listeners off this one song. But like I've been saying, they were swift to take this down, and I think this is, you know, pretty much the present. I'm glad that labels are snapping this shit down. You know, I'm glad that they're fucking on this shit, because I don't think this is just something anyone should be able to use. And even on his TikTok, you know, he posted a TikTok about it, and he's about to try to turn the industry upside down as if AI wasn't just gonna do that anyways. But you are turning it in the wrong direction, my guy. You are turning it disrespectful, borderline stealing direction. He claims here in his comment that he was a ghostwriter in the industry for years, got paid close to nothing just for major labels to profit. The future's here. Yeah, I don't know if I believe that. I don't know if I believe that. Obviously, he's not gonna show his face because there are legal ramifications for this, and I'm sure legal ramifications will start to get rolled out, apart from just, like, copyright takedowns. And, I mean, you heard the song earlier. It sounds good. I mean, it sounds good, but it's just, like, you, you can't do this. You, you cannot do this. So, as you can see, I mean, people are already gonna start using AI for their own personal gain, what they have no business of, and you could even go a more disrespectful route than, like, using two superstars to promote your own song, and you could go the route of making, like, a Juice World song. I found this Juice World AI song with Lou Uzi and Kid Leroy on it. That shit's just, you can't, bro. Juice World is dead. He's gone. Like, you should not, you should not being able to live on through the AI. This is like the definition of selling your soul, you know? People have always talked about selling your soul for years and years and years, and not just in the music industry, in Hollywood, and fame, and celebrity life in general. But it's like, this might be what they mean. I mean, if you if you sell your soul to become famous, you know, your voice is going to electronically live in AI and who knows down in the future, you know, what kind of crazy shit they'll have going on. I mean, we've already seen like hologram concerts, you know, AI concerts and shit, interacting in the crowd and shit. I don't know. I, I don't want to get too into like conspiracy theory territory, but the time is now. I mean, like Ghost Rider said, the future is now. Me, personally, when, when it comes to AI, like, little AI images are, are cool, you know, and AI visual art is, like, a whole different discussion we could get into, but as far as just, like, images, like, funny, like, this picture right here, that's funny. That was created by AI, and that's funny. That gave me a chuckle, and it's not exploiting anything. It's just funny. Or if you must go the music AI route, as you know, it is interesting technology. I'm not gonna sit here and like say you're a horrible person if you're experimenting with this technology. There's a difference between profiting exclusively off other people and a culture. 
and doing something, you know, for likes on the internet that's kind of funny you know, to make people laugh. And the example I'm about to pull up here is Kanye West singing a good old boy tune right here. I was sitting there selling turnips. She had Hollywood written on a license. That's hilarious. I messed with that. Tools for AI, you know, they are they're gonna be used in art in music, in content creation, in careers for the rest of time, but there needs to be a line drawn in the sand that we cannot pass. And I'm not here to say exactly what that line is, but I can pretty comfortably say that this ghost guy crossed it. He crossed that shit <laughs> and he seems to be paying for it. But I just wanted to kind of get this little update out on AI because it's an extremely interesting topic to me. I mean, it's a hot topic right now. Everyone seems to be talking about it. Like I said, developments every single day. So, if you want me to keep up on like this AI artificial intelligence talk, let me know because I'll keep making videos on stuff like this. What do you guys think about AI? How do you guys think it's going to affect the music industry? Do you think it's as bad as people see? Do you not really see any issues with it? Let me know down in the comments below and if you enjoyed watching, make sure you subscribe at the bell so you don't miss any videos, any updates, anything like that. Go in the description, follow my TikTok, my Spotify, my Twitter, my Instagram, get that new Music Friday Spotify playlist, weekly updated playlist down there too, and join my Discord. And yeah, it's been Bryce. Peace.